Hey you guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Shaquita, Beauty by Quee here on Quee TV. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope by the end of this video, you'll feel free to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any uploads from me. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you boo, thank you, thank you. <laughs> on today's video, I'm not quite sure where we're gonna go. Here, I mean, you'll see the title, so you'll probably already know about this video. But I do know we gonna slay, we bored. I've been sitting up in this house, this quarantine thing, and it's, you know, it's a little bit getting on my nerves a little bit. I'm, it's, I'm over it. Are you over it? As you can see, I have already did my eyebrows off of camera. So for primer, I'm gonna use the Elf Poreless. Putty is just the their original version and I'm going to use this because I want to look nice. I want to look nice and poreless and smooth so I'm going to apply a little of this all over the face. Hold on y'all. that we have our primer on again that is the elf poreless putty primer next i am going to start applying my concealers so i've been loving the elf 16 hour camo concealer in the shade deep cinnamon mixed with the is it revolution beauty makeup revolution conceal and define infinite long wear concealer crease proof in the shade C16. These two make like the perfect concealer shades for me and my skin complexion. So we're gonna get this to go. And these two, I wanna add that these two concealers too are very full coverage. So if you're looking for some nice drugstore concealers that really are pigmented and full coverage, like none of your scars peek through, then try these. One of the tricks that I like to try, which I'm pretty sure you've probably seen all over YouTube, is letting your concealers dry down so that you can get the maximum coverage from them and then go in blending them out so kind of let them dry down don't let them dry down to the point they become stiff and you can't move them um more of a like cream um then i am going to apply a little contour which is my black radiance color perfect foundation stick in the shade espresso my ultimate favorite right now because you know i love affordable makeup because i feel like at this point in beauty affordable makeup products and expensive makeup products they're kind of like running neck to neck neck now so yeah you if you're looking for the bougie stuff like lancome and estee lauder and that's not my channel says I ain't got that quaint yet but if you want something that makes you look equally slayed then I'm your girl I'm the girl for you so I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the points where I would normally contour which is to add a little shadow because we want to look snatched and I've been finding that when I do this, I use a lot less concealer, a lot less products. And this is the same, same, why can't I talk today? This is the same product, the Black Radiance Color Perfect Foundation Stick, but this is in the shade Cocoa Bean. And I am just going to apply this everywhere else. I didn't apply any products, so we'll have some coverage which are all these places and to act as a transition between my concealers. And it just gives like a nice transition between these colors. And I learned this actually today from a YouTube. She took her contour shade and she applied it around her lips. That helped to transition between your concealers and your lip. 
And then we're going to go ahead and blend out. I'm going to use my e.l.f. What is it? Uh, my e.l.f. Powder sponge. It's one of their newest sponges that they have now from... I'm sorry, I said e.l.f. It's Real Techniques. One of their newest sponges. And I'm going to use that... Yeah, no. When I get to this part, I just want to slant the sponge like this, like this area right here. And I just want to pat until it's all blended out, okay? Because we don't want to technically melt the shades together. We want them to stay where we placed it, but we just want to go and blend it out. You'll see that? That's what we want, boom. And then we're just going to the bottom, and then we're just blending downward not upward because if you blend upward when you take pictures it's not going to look well blended so you want to blend downward and then you want to take that concealer part and kind of blend in between those two shades okay and you just keep going back and forth until it looks blended to your liking i'm going to take like a little blending packing brush and I'm gonna blend that into those concealers. Okay, now I know it look a little crazy right now, but we're gonna apply the powders and you'll see everything kind of like works, work itself out. We look a little crazy, but we gonna get us right. So to powder, I'm gonna use two powders. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 35 Deep. And then I am going to use my Becca Hydro Mist Set and Refresh Powder in the shade Golden Bronze. But I'm going to use the Maybelline Powder first. Just to set it, not bake. And you just want to pat that into the concealer. And I find that whenever I do this for clients, I find that I don't get any flashback. And I'm going to put this all over my nose. And we're going to contour the nose or shape up this nose with our um the powder that we're going to use to set our contour okay, sorry about that my camera just totally stopped i don't even know where it stopped at but i just know it stopped but um and forgive me if I keep looking down. I'm looking down to make sure I'm in focus. And I'm looking this way to look in the mirror. So, you know, it's a one-man show. So, we have to make sure. <laughs> but I'm just applying a little bit of that contour powder to the tip of my nose. To kind of like help bring some life back into my nose a little bit. Um, but now that we have all of our contour areas secured and set as such then I am going to go into a face powder you can use whatever you want to use MAC whatever I'm using what I get from the beauty supply store mm -hmm. which is the Zuri flawless press powder and this is in the shade hot cocoa as you can see this is like pretty pretty close to my skin tone um, especially when I apply it all over the other places and I'm going to use like a big powder per brush. I know I've been telling y'all the brushes but this one is the It's My Ray Ray and ColourPop number one brush and it's just a large, grab you a large fluffy brush. And all of the areas that we did not set with powder we're going to do now. So like this area, like around the mouth those areas and now you see why you want to grab like a powder that's like pretty close to your skin tone to set the other areas because like I said we're trying to emulate our skin complexion but in the most professional uh, flawless way if you will 
then I'm just going right above my head in between that contour and where we applied the concealer. I'm just going right in between there. Okay, so this is just a e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I'm going to use this and we're going to like, you know, basically carve out the natural shape of our nose. So I'm going to go right on the side lightly, like it's barely touching my nose and up into that brow. Okay, because we're trying to do makeup like a celeb, celeb makeup artist. And I, oh, and by the way, I'm using my face powder to do this. Not the contour because I don't want it to be too harsh. I just want to bring a little color back to this nose, but while still staying true to our nose shape for blush i think i want to take this shade right here and mix it with this is zane from the juvia saharan blush volume one palette i want to mix zane and neo i'm going to mix those two colors and i'm going to use the same brush that we use to set our contour and all I'm doing is just going right on top of that contour. Right on top. And I don't like too much blush. Just enough. And I'm like, like barely touching my face. And then I like to put just a little bit on my nose. I know that's weird to some, but I like to put just a little bit on my nose to bring a little color. And a little bit up here too. So everything matches, you know? You know what I'm saying? Comment below and let me know if you do the same thing. I just put it into that contour just right here at the center. Right there. See? As you see, we still going to keep that powder under the eyes. Oh, and I forgot to take that face powder too and put it under here you know for all my ladies who got a little a little something something after we've done all of that now it is time for eyes and to i want like brighter colors so i'm going to use the nyx jumbo eye pencil in the shade milk and i am going to put that on my eye this is my first time doing this, so I don't even know how this is going to work out, but we going to see. I'm just going to take that same Morphe M173 and kind of like blend it into that concealer that we use to carve out our eyelids. I mean, carve out our brows. I cannot talk today. Okay, just like that. It ain't got to be like, because it's going to be covered anyway, so it ain't got to be all, you know, blended to the gods and all of that. So I don't even, man, I'm tripping. I ain't got no palettes out, no nothing. Okay, so for eyes, I've been into that whole pastel movement. It's been like so pretty. Oh, I've been loving it, but I am going to do that, and I'm going to go into two palettes. The first one I'm going to use is the Do Dose by Juvia's. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, you really can't see it all that well because my lights are so bright. But And I want that pastel pink right there, baby. And I was thinking about maybe going into this, into like the inner corner. Uh-huh. And then for the other two, because I want to be kind of like a kind of like a pastel rainbow a little bit. So I was thinking about going into these two shades right here. And this is the Profusions Festival palette. And you can get this from Walmart. So I'm thinking about going into the shade Hipster. This one is hip hipster and this one is shell. And then, I don't know if this one has a name. Does it? Oh, yeah, it do. So, this one in the Juvia's one is called 
cream, cream, cream. One on, you know. So that's why I went in with a white eyelid primer or what we use as a white eyelid primer. So I am going to take this. Morphe M504 brush because it is like very very fluffy and that's what I want and I am going to start packing on this light pink shade right here I'm going to pack it on right in the inner part of the eye I'm going to turn my lights down so you guys can better see it i hope that's okay then i'm just sort of like blending it and then packing it for pigmentation so blend first and then pack or go back and forth then you want to wipe off your wipe off your brush a little bit you can use like a dry paper towel or whatever and then the next one I'm going to go in is in the shade Shell. And I'm going to put that right beside that pink. And then pack. I hope y'all can see it okay. Because if so, this would be an epic fail. But that's okay because all I would do is just throw the video out and post <laughs> on Instagram. That's all, girl. That's all. It ain't stopping nothing around her. And then I'm going to go into the shade Hipster. And again, you want to blend that color. Blend it into that previous color. And then we're going to pack. I've been loving this little movement. It kind of reminds me of like Spice Girls or something. Like going back to the 90s when you used to use those light. They used to use those light colors and stuff like that. That's what it takes me back to. And I think that's why I'm so drawn to this whole pastel movement i've been loving it so i think that's pretty good see Ooh, that's so pretty and that part a little bit and see y'all oh that is so pretty okay so i'm gonna go and do the other eye and then we'll be right back and finish and wrap up this video sis all right because <laughs> i'm just so glad it worked out and i'm definitely glad that y'all can see it on camera because oh my god that would have hurt my polo so so we'll be back we'll be back we'll be back all i know is i wanted you i really hoped you looked my way you smiled at me so sweet i could not see you made me feel like a baby girl what do you do to me thinking about taking some like metallic shimmers the same color at the top and putting it in the same order at the bottom i think that would be really bomb but i don't think i have something to mimic that purple so that's what i'm trying to figure out right now well i think i got just the thing y'all yay don't you just love when your makeup work out just how you want it to? That's the day that I'm having today. So I am going to go back into the Festival palette. And I am going to grab this metallic blue one. Because as you can see, it mimics the shade Hipster. So this one is Geode. G Geode. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. G-E-O-D-E. That shade is this metallic blue here. And I'm just using a pencil brush. It ain't got no name, but I know it's Morphe. I'm just going to grab that, tap the access off of it. Now, for the purple shade, I was going to go into the shade Tarte, back into that Juvia's palette, which is this shade. On camera, it looks kind of, it looks white, but it has like this beautiful light purple reflex to it and kind of like pink so i thought that would be perfect to mimic that purple shade that we did in the middle so 
wipe your brush off from the previous shade and then I'm going to apply a little bit and I'm kind of dragging it down too um, because again we're going for that fairy look. Then I'm going to wipe my brush again with the uh, dry paper towel and then I'm going to go into this shade here called Pups and this one is like a metallic pink shade and we're going to apply that Dust off the excess, not too much though, and then we're going to apply that to the inner part because I feel like that really mimics that light pink. And you could bring that up into the inner corner if you like because that's what I'm going to and yeah, Ooh, I like it. Okay, and then like if you want to go back into your shades, make sure you can really see those colors. What I should have did was took the mattes and put it there first and then put the shimmers on top of it. But it's okay because I still feel like this book came out very cute. And we not even finished yet and already I'm going like crazy. You know you're doing your makeup when you make your own self excited. And that's kind of what I'm doing to myself right now. Okay so next what I'm going to do is apply a little mascara. You can use any because all we're doing is coating the lashes so that they blend in with with the false lashes so I'm using the it cosmetics superhero mascara yeah I was about to say in the shade but it's black and I like to do my bottom lashes last for whatever reason but we'll eventually do the bottoms too and I like for those to be like really really thick and be careful how you put on this mascara because we got on like pastel so you don't want that black to transfer and I want to make sure my lash line is like real black because I usually use that to black out the lash line which is that space between that, sh that space right there under where your lashes start you want to make sure that's black because it's going to help help bring everything together with our eye look once we put on our lashes and stuff and I'm just pushing the wand against the base of my lashes and as you can see it just helped it look a little bit more thick bring y'all in so help it make a make them look a little bit more thick okay so once we do that oh shoot i forgot to let my lash glue sit I'm just applying a little bit of the duo lash glue to my lashes and I'm going to let these get tacky and, it, and when you do this too it, it helps it not only stick right away but it also buys you a little time and you can just pop them on and go. I think that's what I like about most about letting the lash glue get tacky. Once they get tacky you can just pop them on and be out the door like period. Okay, so now time for lips. So for lips, I'm going to use this Me Now Eye Lip Liner Pencil in the shade 22. I got this off of the Wish app. And this is like a bronzy type of shade. I'm going to line majority of my lips with this first. It ain't even sharp. I'm like, what's this? It ain't even sharpened, but get it sharp. And then I'm going to take this Queen queen queef whatever <laughs> matte lip satin in the shade thick skin and then i'm gonna go back into that liner again because we want to keep that lipstick in the center then i'm going to take my wet and wow color icon cold and it's a i believe an eyeliner but i use it for lips and this is in the shade semi brown okay and that's looking a little bit, I want it more neutral. So let me find a neutral. Okay, I'm going to see if this works. So this is the Appeal Holographic Lip Gloss. And I'm going to see if that will kind of like give me what I'm looking for. And I'm just going to apply this just on the center. Alrighty. Oh, my lashes, Lord. I'm all over the place, y'all. I think I let them dry too much, y'all. 
Lord have mercy. See what y'all made me do? Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. I joke. I joke. Now I'm gonna have to reapply. And can y'all remind me this time not to let it dry? Jeez. I know y'all like, what's wrong with this girl? What is wrong with her? She crazy. She crazy. She need help. Gonna take my BH Cosmetics and it's my Ray Ray, Ray, Ray brush. And I'm gonna brush away that powder. That was under the eyes. And you want to pat in at the same time. Because we want some of that. That's going to help us not crease. And then you can also use the rest of that too. To clean up the sides of those eyes. Alright. And then to set. I'm going to use this Pearl Essence at Aloe. And Rose Water Tonic Water. And I'm just going to set this face. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my brush because I don't want to wet my eyes too much. Because then I'm going to have to reapply everything I just did. I'm just going to slightly put it under my eye. Just like that. Okay, you guys. So this is all for today's video. I hope you guys really, really enjoy it. I just popped on a tie-dye pastel shirt that I got from Forever 21. Across the top, it says Queen. Yes. And yeah, and I popped on some studs. And I think this came out very pretty in my little yellow nails. Don't mind. That's just uh, eyeshadow. But anyway, I really enjoyed how this look came out. I thank you so much. I enjoyed this. This just gave me so much good feelings. And I love it. And, you know, made me feel, you know, young and just pretty. And like a Barbie. Like a little, little chocolatey Barbie. And if you guys decide to create this look also, make sure you tap me in it. I would love to see it and repost it to my page. And yeah, until next time, I will see you on the next video. Bye.